Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. In this video I'm looking closely at a 3D controller, the Space Mouse from 3D Connections, and I'll be asking the question, will it improve your 3D modeling, sculpting or painting experience, or even speed up your workflow and should you rush out to buy one? So I got in touch with 3D Connections, they're a company that specializes in 3D controllers, uh, they're for creators or designers using pr primarily 3D programs and they have what's called a space mouse and this is a special mouse for navigating 3D space. Now this is not a sponsored video, they have sent me one for free which is nice of them uh, but there's no affiliated links or anything like that so I'm not under any pressure to promote this, not that I would promote anything that I don't believe in myself. So the Space Mouse has loads of buttons that you can use and reprogram between different applications and many are specific to the program you're using so it has a blender setup but the main thing is the mouse itself and how you move around the 3D viewport. You've got lots of directions you can move in, tilting, twisting, pulling, pushing so it makes it a far more dynamic experience than just using a mouse. This gives you loads of control and precision which theoretically speeds up your workflow. So I wanted to put this to the test and see if I could use this to improve my workflow in sculpting and painting. So I decided to sculpt some legs in leather trousers. I always need to improve my anatomy sculpting so it would be a fine test. So you can see the sculpt in the background, I haven't cut anything out so you can kind of see my learning process in time lapse form. Initially it took me a long time to get to grips with the controls and being so used to one way of doing things it's hard to retrain the brain. Uh, you can change the controls around fairly easily and Blender has a range of preferences for this type of device. I'd gotten fairly used to the controls and then realised I was using one of the functions in reverse, which was why I think I was finding it quite hard. So then I went through the setup again and kind of had to unlearn what I'd learnt and it did become easier after that. They have a training program which is calibrated in a slightly different way to Blender. So it was a little bit confusing and kind of funny because you have to you do this test at the end and you have to move around this teapot and they said my score was really rubbish <laughs> but uh, they, they, were, they were polite about it and said at least I've finished so that was nice of them. Even though I got a rubbish score after a couple of hours I was kind of getting the hang of it. It did take quite a while though but I still hadn't really decided how I was going to set up my workspace to incorporate it and I'm still figuring that out now. So here's my current setup at the moment and you can see I've set up my monitors like this uh, one on top of the other and I think that's best for sculpting and painting. I'm still not entirely happy as uh, my back monitor seems a little high but I can control the space mouse with my left hand whilst drawing with my right hand or sculpting with my right hand and that seems to be the most effective. Now they don't only offer the space mouse, there's the space mouse compact and space mouse wireless which look good options too, especially if you're on more of a budget. The Space Mouse Compact is around £100-ish, the Space Mouse Enterprise is over £300, so a lot more expensive. So should you rush out and buy one if you can afford it? Well, I really think that this is a good way to go if you want to speed up your process. It's not essential, you can get by without one, but it does give you more control and therefore speeds up your workflow. Like I said, it takes a fair bit of adapting to, and it'll be a while before I completely get comfortable with using it. But already I can really see that when going back to using a mouse, for example, I was a little bit disappointed, and it wasn't as dynamic and fluid as using the Space Mouse, so it did make a difference. Now they were also kind enough to send me the CAD Mouse Pro, and I'd thought for a while that a mouse was just a mouse, until I'd used this one, and I wish I'd made a change ages ago. A good mouse like this which you can adjust the settings for and has a nice lot of programmable buttons, really responsive, makes a massive difference. It's around £100 so it's quite expensive and that's probably why I didn't choose to spend my money on that, uh, but honestly it would make a massive difference. It probably made more of a difference than the Space Mouse did in terms of the um, responsiveness of the program. I imagine though as time goes by I'll probably find the Space Mouse just as invaluable too. So in conclusion, the Space Mouse, you have more control, it's much quicker, you're more precise, it's very hard to get to grips with, well I found it was anyway, and I still need to figure out how to sort of ergonomically put it into my setup and which programmable buttons I'm going to use. The CAD Mouse was amazing, really nice, really responsive, and it's made a massive difference already to my workflow. So thanks very much to 3D Connections for agreeing to send me these. Um, I should have done so a lot sooner and got in touch with you, I wish I had. Hopefully this is helpful to you out there and somewhat informable. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.